Hey guys, welcome to another relaxing ASMR video from the BitBlock. This week is going to be a pretty awesome video because we are going to be sitting back and snuggling and looking at this Japanese Animal Crossing New Leaf design book. So this is pretty cool. It's a very interesting concept. It's all about unique things that you can do as far as designing your rooms, your town, your characters. So it's brand new. I just got it. As you can see on the back here, there's a logo for Retail, or R. Parker's as it's known in Japan. And it says that the book is 950 yen, which would probably be about $12 here in America if you could buy it here. A little look at the spine. I um I really like how they have this great artwork for the Happy Home Academy. I believe that's what it's called. I don't really know the real name. <laughs> but um Extends to the back. I've got some little blurbs about what this book offers. So let's go ahead and open it up and start checking it out. So, this little thing is actually just kind of barely attached. It's just an extra little piece of paper to kind of bring it all together. So we started out with some very high quality artwork for New Leaf. I'm sure we've all kind of seen that before. It's on the box art. On the bottom of the contents page here, we've got Main Street with all the characters that work there and have shops. Luna, Dr. Shrunk, Nook, Abel Sister. I'm liking this book already. <laughs> I think this is like an amazing idea for an Animal Crossing book. All right, so we've got this very, very awesome collage of characters and screenshots. There's Brewster, Cap'n. I really like this animal. He's a woolly mammoth. How cool is that? So the book has ideas for villages, and then it's also got ideas for rooms, and there are even QR codes. And when we get to those, I will try to make it clear enough so you guys could actually scan them for yourself. Um, from this YouTube video But let's start checking this out So Village number one is pretty darn cool already. It's like a 
a lot of roads with their pathways. They've got the traffic signs. A little picture of copper over here. Pretty great. It also shows us what community projects we could build to really bring everything together. I really like that one. That's pretty great. And then over here we have, this is sort of like, hmm, got a windmill, we've got some flower topiary. It's like a Dutch town, I guess would be the best way to describe it. We've got a windmill, lots of flowers all lined up by color, a bunch of roses. Um, and then over here, this is pretty awesome because it's winter, so they actually designed little patches of snow on their brick pathway. Um, it also shows what you could dress up as if you lived in these towns. I really like the, <laughs> the little snowman boy and the Santa Claus girl. So, village number four is, it looks like they have a brick pathway, but they've used the same dirt color as the real game so that you can't really tell that it's a pattern, which I think is pretty cool. And then, over here, for village number five, I believe that is a reference to an old-fashioned movie. I can't remember the name of it, but it's like a 1950s style town. We've got the two people dressed up very old fashioned. That's definitely to an old movie. I just can't remember the name of it. Charles Chaplin? I don't know if that's right. <laughs> now we've got a very Christmas inspired village with number six. Got a lot of lights on the trees and some Christmas lights. The clock, the light up clock. And then it all looks very, very pretty when the northern lights are in the sky. I'm not really sure what village number seven is supposed to be, but I really, really like this setup. Got some bricks, little tiny bridges. And they all lead over to this fountain. <laughs> Maybe you guys can guess what some of these are better than I can. Oh, I just realized this girl's dressed up like a Christmas tree. It's pretty great. Number eight has a lot of playground equipment. Colorful tires, drinking fountain, playground. It also shows the custom patterns that they used for the town. That's a really cool pattern. I like that. It's a good walkway. Village number 10 is kind of Japanese inspired. Ooh, it's a very nice log pathway. It's a an interesting looking ground it kind of almost looks like sand like a rocky sand mix oh, this is very good it's like a Sahara desert got the giant pyramid they even have Sahara in the photo a pharaoh an Egyptian this one's very, very pretty as well. Definitely Japanese inspired with all the cherry blossoms. <laughs> He's got the little piece of grass in his mouth. I can't remember what his name is. Hmm. I won't even try to guess. It's got like a bunch of crops coming out of the ground there. There's even a scarecrow. And then in photo number two, 
it looks like the crops were all flooded with water. <laughs> That's unfortunate, but also very, very cool. Joan on the picture there, which really kind of matches the theme. Sort of a, an Indian style town over here. <laughs> Little girl angels. Very girly looking town. Number 11 is, oh, I think number 11 is trying to be like the island that you can go to, but they made it in their village instead. Some very interesting clouds back there. I don't believe I've ever seen those before in the game. Oh, wow. Zipper tea bunny is nightmare fuel. <laughs> this is kind of getting into just some additional little ways that you can use items. It's kind of a tropical theme, a little Japanese, Asian theme. So now we're getting into the rooms that you could possibly set up. And as you can see, on the left side will be the room. And then over here on the right side would be all the different items that you would need to make this room yourself. So room number one is like a, I think a classroom. I believe in Japan, they actually eat in their classroom. So I think that's what that's depicting. Number two here is a music room. <laughs> They've even got a character that looks like Beethoven. He looks like he's conducting. It's pretty great how much effort they go to for these little pictures of the room because they really kind of set up a theme. Like they use the character's emotions to make them look like they're doing stuff. All the different stuff you'd need here. KK March, I believe, or KK Band and Mambo. It always suggests the kind of music that you should use for the room. <laughs> oh, that's adorable. It's a little wedding chapel. <laughs> it's got a bride and a groom and a priest, the wedding cake. <laughs> and then the alternate they give the alternate way of doing things. You can change up the floor to be a little bit more rustic. Red and pink balloons. A bouquet of flowers. Here's a hospital with a doctor. <laughs> Doctors checking on the patient. They got the heartbeat monitor on the back, a nurse. All right, I officially love this book. This might be the coolest Animal Crossing book ever. Room number five is like a nightclub. It's got a DJ, just a crazy star field. So here they offer up another technique that you can use, which is to customize these lanterns to be red, and it gives it a really great atmosphere in the lighting. And of course, it always shows different costumes your characters could wear to fit the scene. So room number six is a kitchen. It's got a chef and people at the table. And then down here, the alternate way of doing things would be to set it up like it's a cooking show for TV with cameras. <laughs> you got the little chef lady posing there. Cameraman. Oh, it's too amazing. <laughs> it's so cute. I'm gonna die. Here it shows some customized signs that you could make. This is a restaurant, kind of uh, similar to what we just saw with the cooking show. This is like an all-you-can-eat buffet. And then down here, if you wanted a restaurant, they show you how to do that. Maybe a little bit more classy. This is like a coffee shop. They've got little Brewster gyroids there. Oh, 
It just makes me want to play New Leaf again so bad and do a bunch of creative things. <laughs> hmm. Room number nine is kind of Japanese themed. Uh, room number 10 looks like a scientist's lab. Oh, and if you look back here in the distance behind all these glass cases is a very worried assistant who looks like they're about to have some kind of experiment done on them. Whoa, down here it's the same lab, but they changed the wallpaper and flooring to be very run down. And there's a bunch of skeleton bodies on the ground. Oh, something went very, very wrong in that lab. Oh, they used the Diver Dan people as little scientists as well. And I guess there's their bones. That tells a whole little story, doesn't it? <laughs> a scary one. Oh my goodness. <sighs> this room is meant to be like Pikmin 3, because you've got red, yellow, and blue Pikmin, and then you've got them trying to carry the watermelon. The spaceship, little bugs, little bug chairs, mushroom lamp. Oh my goodness, that is so amazing. I like how they even tanned the person that's playing the red Pikmin, so it blends in a little bit more. Over here, we've got some more Nintendo characters that you can make with, with the various success accessories. I don't know what this technique is. What? Hmm. Maybe that's supposed to be in another room, and it's like it's your landing site. This book is pretty thick. So we might have to kind of glance over a few of these rooms if they don't particularly catch my eye. And um, you guys could always check this book out yourself. Um, just do an eBay search for like Animal Crossing design book. But um, room number 12 is like a farmer's garden. I like how there's little little cornfields. It's got scarecrows in it. It's like an outdoor cafe. <laughs> this is a um, almost like the Olympics. It's like a sporting event. This guy is jumping over hurdles. There's a coach, referee. <laughs> Porta potty, of course. Oh, room number 15 is punch out themed. And they even have the ref designed to look like Mario. <laughs> look at how great some of these little screenshots are, though. Like, he's the winner, and the, the referee is rewarding him, you know, clapping for him. And then in the background, you see the other guy laying down like he's knocked out. They're angry at each other here. There's trophies. Oh, so much great effort. So that would be it for the rooms. There's 15 of them. Now we're looking at some extra stuff. I'm not totally sure. I guess this is kind of like ideas for seasons. Fall and winter. Oh wait, we've got some more rooms. <laughs> Here's an arcade. We've got the manager there. This room's like an office. <laughs> He's really excited. He's presenting ideas on the dry erase board there. Ooh, some sort of scientists that study plant life. That's pretty cool. <laughs> a little bathhouse, like a spa. <laughs> oh, that's pretty creepy. It's a, they put a pattern on the wall and it looks like a window that's looking into the bathhouse. And there's a little guy peering in. He's 
trying to get a sneaky peek at the ladies in the bathhouse. <laughs> and then this one looks like it's kind of like a room that's split into two to be two, two apartments, maybe for like a college or a university type deal. Looks like it's another kind of roommate situation there. Ooh, I really like the flooring there. It's customized. Wow. This room has a whole bunch of custom patterns applied to everything. The teddy bear, the pillow, tablecloth. <laughs> Some sort of old wizly guy that likes to <laughs> collect very old things. Some of these, I assume, are like very Japanese inspired, and so they might be more apparent to somebody from Japan. Oh, this is a very cool sort of outdoor Japanese theme. <laughs> it's a really good setup. Samurai, ninjas. Warriors. Oh, room number 26 is like a game show being filmed. Got the contestant thinking, the one that's kind of distraught, probably because he doesn't know what he's doing. <laughs> and that one's like really poised over the buzzer. Oh, that's too cool. If you look at the monitor on the TV here, it even has the little game show will sometimes appear on TV. So it really looks like they're filming the game show. That is like so perfect. <laughs> I guess he's supposed to be the host. He looks really kind of fancy. Definitely looks like a Japanese game show host. <laughs> Here's a non-copyright infringing version of Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Got Snow White sleeping. You got all the little dwarves around her, which are gnomes. <laughs> the charming prince, the little angry witch that's peering out from under or behind the well, actually. <laughs> Some sort of superheroes against villains here. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> I really love how they use the emotions to make the screenshots that much cooler. Tropical beach party. Got uh, some people over there in wetsuits playing volleyball. There's even a scoreboard. This blonde dude is getting a tan. <laughs> Alternatively, you could do it for winter and they show you how to make a little ski lodge. Also gives you the price of all the items and if they customized it at retail, it mentions it. Definitely gives you everything you would need to know to make that room. Room number 29 is like a giant game room for chess. I actually wanted to do this myself with the reversey pieces. I think it's called a reversey piece. And, you know, when you touch it, it flips over. So you could kind of play a real version of like tic-tac-toe in Animal Crossing in your room. Definitely a game you would play if you knew Japanese there, those little statues. So now I think we're done with all the rooms, maybe. It's talking about hairstyles and eye color, sort of acts as a guide for that, shows you the process of tanning, tells you when to tan on the island. It's like a very good guide for the way your character would look. And then here, we've got another two pages that has just a bunch of cool stuff. Screenshots, character art. This is just some more crazy ideas you could do with items. I really like this. This is what I'm trying to do in my own house. A little indoor graveyard. <laughs> they have the ghost modeled off there with a mannequin. Just 
just kind of talking about the basics, where you can get accessories, where you can customize furniture, special events will give you items, accomplishments will give you items. Talking about the different characters that can give you special items, like Katie and Gulliver. From November 1st to November 30th, you can pick mushrooms and you'll be lucky enough to get one item a day from the Mush series. You guys should be looking forward to that. <laughs> Jack gives you a new set of furniture this year. The pumpkin stuff you can buy in the shop. You guys should be excited for the snowman stuff also, because you can build a whole different family of snowman depending on how big you make the snowballs. And they give you different furniture. And then this is talking about how the trees will progress as the year goes by. It gives you exact dates. All the different fruit. Oh, this is really handy. It actually shows you all the bushes and what they would look like when they blossomed. And it gives you the exact dates when they will blossom. It talks a little bit about the stump designs that can appear. Here is a Your house upgrades, all the different stuff you can do with your house as far as like the overall theme from the outside goes. Castle, house, kind of an apartment looking thing. Mm -hmm. This is just talking about different types of items. Stereos, instruments, lighting, beds, seating, clocks. Gyroids, fossils, balloons. This is a very lengthy book, so I think for some of this, we're just going to kind of take a little peek and move on. Wow, that's definitely a lot of gold stuff. It's got some Q&A. Just giving some more information about how the patterns are on a grid. So this next section is all about the different ways you can customize stuff at retail. So as you can imagine, this is going to be loaded with pictures. And um, yeah, this is, I don't think we're going to really look at everything individually because, oh, it would take forever, but little blue dog house shows you the different colors you can make the potties. Ooh, I want a gold potty. Different colored guitars. I'm gonna grab the other side of the book here. I'm just gonna kinda, cause I don't wanna spoil everything for you just in case you guys decide to order this yourself. Shows you how you can put the shirts on your bears. Yeah, I never realized just how much there really is to customizing at retail. I want the golden tanuki. Oh, there's a green one, a blue one. Hmm. You can definitely do a lot with the uh, modern furniture changing its color and its texture to be all like shiny. Well, look at all those little cameras. You can customize the toaster to have different patterns on the toast. <laughs> Make the toast completely burnt. Different foods can be customized in there. I really like how you can make donuts out of the stool. Hmm. <laughs> can customize the pink crib to be for a boy. All the different robot stuff. I was messing around with that quite a bit. I went with the red robot theme. 
All right. So, yeah, I kind of wanted to breeze through that because there was quite a bit of it. <laughs> Here are some patterns that you can mess around with, and it really shows how it changes up the look of your room. Some more items. These are a lot of like special items. I think these are available, the little statues of animals are from New Year's Day, I believe. Some of the Mario items. This book is brand new, so the, the binding is pretty stiff. We're still kind of in items here. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> so now it's showing us all the different colors that you can get for your roofing. All the door. Oh, this is a really good thing to have. This is incredibly handy. The American Guide from Prima does not have all this. They just they just list it as like text. It's pretty cool. You you don't really notice how many different variations you can truly have here. All the mailboxes, doors, your fencing. <laughs> Shows you what it would look like in the different themes. <laughs> Talks about how you can change your town hall and your front gate for the train station, camping ground, Mystery Seti's Reset Center, museum upgrade, coffee shop. Talks about the igloos and the tents there a little bit. Oh, yes. <laughs> I was really disappointed when I bought the Prima Guide and they didn't have pictures of all the different projects that you could build, but this one does. And this isn't even meant to be a total guide. Hmm. My animals, unfortunately, don't really ask me to build anything because they suck. <laughs> I like the geyser. So much stuff. Oh, all the KK Slider albums. I really, really love how there's artwork for everything now. With the, with the albums, KK Dirge. I have that playing in my house right now. Wallpaper and flooring. Oh, it's so great. Hmm. This is the bug stuff. I, I love the cheese. The cheese flooring and cheese wallpaper. Bathroom. Underwater. Oh, wow, that's pretty trippy. Mm -hmm. Super Mario Brothers. Yeah, that's a pretty great way of showing it off, I think. Just both of it in the room together as a theme. This is the new Halloween flooring and wallpaper. That's also kind of Halloween, and so is that. Mm -hmm. Got Sahara here because she's obviously going to be how you get some of this stuff. And now, over on this side... And I think until the book is over, there are a bunch of QR codes. Um, I don't know if they'll be, I don't know if you can scan them through this video, but if you can't, um, I will put up some of them on my personal Tumblr and I'll leave a link to that in this video description. So these are all the like custom patterns that they have shown throughout the book. Some pretty good stuff. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> um, yeah, these, these are probably going to be pretty hard to scan. <laughs> Some steps right there. All the little crops. <laughs> A sandwich pattern, a little welcome pattern, fruits and apples. <laughs> they, um, in Japan, there are actually a couple books which are completely dedicated to QR codes, and I've already ordered those, so you will be seeing those in these ASMR videos somewhere down the line. <laughs> a little owl. Little owl pattern. <laughs> Windows. It's pretty cool. Sugar. A sugar pattern. Menu. So yeah, if you're not already, watch this video in 1080p and make it full screen and try it that way. Looks like this is the last page. Ooh, a bunch of... Oh, that's so cool. They made calendars for each month. And each one has one of the animals featured on it. There's Coco. <laughs> um, yeah, and I mean, if you have a Wii U, try viewing this in HD on your TV through the Wii U on the web browser, and that might work as well. Of course, you can always buy the book yourself. Um, so that is it. I really like the little pattern there with all the presents. And this little... Shows some stuff, some more guides that they make. On the back, there's a little boy. Alright, so um, like I said, I will put up a couple of those AR or QR codes on my Tumblr. You can check them out there if you had trouble. But I would really recommend buying the game. Just go to eBay and search for it. Um, but yeah, I hope this was relaxing for you guys. And I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, as always, be sure to like it and favorite it so you can watch it anytime you want to relax. And uh, stay tuned for next week. We will have another bit of Nintendo loot to look through. It's probably not going to be Animal Crossing next week, but um, rest assured I do have a lot more Animal Crossing stuff for us to check out. All right, I'll see you guys next time.